Strong through your upper legs and lift him. Yeah. And from K to S, forward again, medium trot. Right rein a little bit shorter. Yeah, and at S passage again. And from one step to the other, Debbie, try to demonstrate. Yes, that was better. That was already a little bit too much for medium trot. Yeah. <laughs> it was coming towards an extension. And stay steady. Stay steady. Stay with passage. Stay with it. And steady steps. It's important to make him work there a little bit, that he doesn't think he can just do a few steps and then go. That's it. And again, passage. Soften on the inside rein. Yeah. And rein's just a little bit shorter. Hold your hands a little bit more forward. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. As you soften on the inside rein, keep him in passage, Debbie. And now demonstrate one more time how there you can let go of the reins by keeping him on your seat. Staying in passage. That's it. Yeah. It's okay. And again. Right. There. Good. And walk, Debbie. Good. You want to bring the horse back to the, to the point that you can hold him with your seat and your legs, and you can relax in your reins. You keep the outside reins so that you have a security there and a constant contact, softening him on the inside, and then for, for a moment at a time that the horse is, is very, very light and that you don't have much at all in your hands. Okay, so that the, that the horse learns to balance back on his haunches, and carry his own body. Okay, Debbie, then slowly pick up your reins. And then you go one time around on a 20-meter circle and pick up your canter. And then if you will do the changes. And instead of going across the diagonal this time, let's come down the inside track and the quarter track. This is real good at home if you have a, a mirrors on the short side to do the changes directly forward into the mirrors and you can see if you're straight or not. It's amazing how unstraight we usually are. Uh, and as you're doing these, you want to focus forward on something. Set your eyes on something. Keep them there and make sure the horse goes straight. Upper body and shoulders go absolutely straight. Hips are straight, just the lower leg moves. Yeah. Yeah, watch, Debbie, that you don't twist in your waist, okay? Absolutely straight ahead with your body from your hips and your shoulders, one straight line forward. Focus forward. Better. Yeah. Yeah, careful. There, you, there again, you came to the outside. You dropped in the, in the right hip. And again, make sure your hips stay absolutely square, dead straight. Very nice. Good. And the same thing with the twos. Just clear. Outside, 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 outside. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, Debbie, and now let's show for the, for the ones that you do a change, change, counter, counter, change, change, counter, counter. Whoops. And forward, yeah. Yep. Okay, and back again. Yeah, and again, get the rhythm down the long side. If you want to do four together, go ahead and do four together, counter, counter, four together. Just take and make loose. Take, loose, take, loose, take, loose, take, loose, take, loose, take, <laughs> loose. Take. Or if you okay. want to do 22, do 22. <laughs> Good. Debbie, come do a walk with him.
Okay, here with the horse, learning the ones and, and new in the ones. When they offer something like that, the rhythm stays good, everything stays fine with it, stop with them. Don't, don't drill it with them. Okay, we, we wanted to do counter, counter, change, change. And that's how, that's how a good way to begin with a, a horse learning that because they start getting on the aids. Also, the rider has time to figure out the aids. You change, you change, counter, rhythm, change, change, canter rhythm okay so that everything becomes in a rhythm after you do a couple series of those then in the middle of the long side instead of just going change change you change 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 back to canter and stay like that so that it really becomes a rhythm and you and the horse develop an aid between each other ones can't be lucky I've tried it that way it doesn't work you've got to do it so that you've got an aid for them okay and once you've got the eight, then if you want to do four, you can do four. If you want to do 44, you can do that. And the counter rhythm, the canter itself should become almost better in the changes. Usually, a lot of times the canter, don't you find this as a judge that a lot of times during the canter uh, in the flying changes that the canter itself becomes better because the spring is renewed all the time. Mm -hmm. Debbie, thank you.